Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross tutorial video where we discuss this time round the episode plates available in the Chaos Exchange. Um, I decided to separate this out from the rest of the other videos because I think it, it deserves a spot on its own. Uh, mainly because deciding on the episode plates uh, of the month in the Chaos Exchange can be a bit tricky especially when it comes to free to play players so for those who pay to play i guess um, these episode plates don't really matter much um, because the stats are definitely a lot weaker than for those you obtain through the paid gacha itself so let's first talk about the two episode plates that are currently uh, attainable through the raid boss events um, if you did if you guys did not attain the episode plates um, in the previous event, um, which are the ones we are looking at currently, um, the Macross Frontier version that activates only when it is being played under the song Lion. As you can see, I'm highlighting this thing here. It says here the song is Lion. So you only can activate that skill if you are actually using this episode plate on that particular song itself. So all the Red Boss episode plates are going to be like this. And, we, and for me personally, I think what you really want to take note of is actually the series that the episode plate belongs to and of course the element of the episode plate itself. So as you can tell, Macross Frontiers episode plate belongs to the, the life uh, element or rather the blue element whichever one you call it by. Um, and the total score for the episode plate is 3750 with a well balanced stats on the soul, voice and charm. So both plates, uh, Macross 7 and Macross Frontier are exactly the same in terms of stats, uh, including the life, support, fold and luck. So yeah, if you guys take note, both episode plates are exactly the same in terms of stats and the divas who are equipable with them. So both episode plates can be equipped by all the divas currently available in Uta Macross itself. The center skill the live skill are exactly the same under both episode plates as well. They both have the unit total um, boosted by 20% up, life recovery of 30%. So if you want to compare, it's exactly the same. The only difference uh, for both episode plates is one activates in Lion, the other one activates in Holy, Holy Lonely Light Duet version. So the skills wise is exactly the same. So at the 40 second mark for 14 seconds, um, your score is boosted by 120% up. If you want to compare, it's exactly the same kind of. Um, the one for Lion here, however, is of a different activation timing because Lion is activated um, for long duration songs while Macross 7's Holy Lonely Light version is for short duration songs so it really depends on the song itself so i don't know because it can only be activated on the song that you are going to focus on um the skills really don't matter anyways um but let's say for example if you're a free to play player the stats alone kind of is enticing um if you don't really bother with the act uh, with the live skill activation um, the stats alone on the episode plate is pretty impressive. So if you are a free to play player, obtaining these episode plates is a must. Uh, especially when it comes to the element itself and its total stats. The Honestly speaking, the life skill is a bonus if you are actually playing that particular song itself. So free to play players, um, what I honestly um, you know, recommend you guys to do is achieve each of these episode plates at least a copy because you don't know when you will need them and of course the element of the plate is going to help you along achieving high score uh, points for yourself and of course maybe when it comes to those battle events where you compete with each other in high score um, so yeah for pay to play players I guess if you have episode plates with better skills than these with luck activated, I guess these episode plates really don't matter except for the illustrations on the episode plates and maybe um, achieving one or two copies of 
each episode played uh, if you are actually a hardcore grinder for the raid boss event um you know plus having them activated their luck uh it's gonna be a great arsenal in your you know your your collection of plates because the skills 120 percent boost is unheard of uh that's why they probably need a particular song to activate it and of course a 3750 stat is the first of its kind uh no episode plate has that amount of total stat points um, on them even under the paid gacha itself so yeah so for any player out there i would still recommend to achieve or rather to attain one copy of each episode plate um i guess they're gonna release one for each generation eventually since right now they're gonna release macross 7's version uh under the same month of or rather the same duration of this red boss event itself so if you missed out on the macross frontier one like i did I did not grind hard enough to actually obtain the free copy from its top 100 placing. Um, I probably have to exchange it with the medals that I worked hard saving up from the previous event and of course including the one from this upcoming event uh, which is tomorrow. So yeah, I probably might have to do a lot better to obtain the Macross 7 version, um, maybe trying to rank myself in the top 100. And of course, getting those extra medals to exchange a copy of the Macross Frontier one to get myself somewhere in the safe position of, you know, not being overpowered by those who pay to win. All right, so the Red Boss episode plates aside, let's talk about the ones that you can actually exchange for uh, monthly using the Zodiac medal. So the first one we'll take a look at is the VF31J 35th anniversary version. As you can see Hayate is happily popping a popper to celebrate the anniversary of Macross which is over already but anyways. <laughs> um, yellow element episode plate. Total score of 3000 so not the best stats but it is a free episode plate so free to play players this portion of the video is definitely something you must pay attention to. For those who pay to play or really don't bother with all these um, low stats episode plates, um, you just need to pay attention to which Valkyrie that you have not unlocked and just exchange the one that you need the costume points for the Valkyrie for and you're good to go. So for free to play players, pay attention to the stats and abilities of the skills because it is definitely going to help you along the way throughout your gameplay of Utah Macross. So total score 3000, balance stats all around for soul, voice and charm, center skill, units, support, boosted by 20% up. So if you guys are still not familiar with what the support stat is, it's basically the stat that does damage um, during the Valkyrie attack phase. If let's say for example, if your opponent has a lot of HP, you need higher support stats to defeat them as quickly as possible and of course give you the chance to activate Cho Utahime mode. Like the second event of the month that sometimes requires you to activate Cho Utahime mode to complete the mission to gain the bonus stats. Um, and of course activating Cho Utahime mode also gives you the benefit of um, obtaining more green gem notes which will give you resources for your episode plate. And during the first event of the month, um, green gemstones are the ones that give you the um, points to rack up to gain ranking positions. So these are pretty important things to take note of. The active skill for the episode plate. For 12 seconds, your combos do not break. So I guess this episode plate helps to train players on those um, difficulty levels that you are struggling with. Um, life skill at the 40 combo mark for 12 seconds your score is boosted by 50% up so not the best boost in terms of score but it is a free episode plate so you can't be fussy regarding that matter take close attention to the four divas equipable with the episode plate itself all right so let's compare with the other one that is available also under the same month um, which belongs to both so yeah, it's also a yellow element episode plate. So being the same element, I guess the stats really matter um, when it comes to coming down to exchange for the usefulness of the episode plate itself rather than the fact that, okay, one unlocks Valkyrie points for Hayate, the other one unlocks for both. 
All right, so Volk's total score, oh no, it's 2,775. It's already lower than Hayate's Volk. So um, I think we can safely assume that Hayate's plate is the one to go for when it comes to stats. But like I said earlier, if you're just going to exchange these plates just for the costume points for the Valkyries, just go ahead and do so. If not, I would highly recommend not, not to even consider using these episode plates at all because there are definitely better episode plates out there. But if you're a free-to-play player, I guess Harate's Valk is the way to go just looking at the total score. Let's check the skills just to be sure. Center skill unit support is boosted by 20% up, exactly the same as Hayate's episode plate. Active skill, for 15 seconds you will have an easier time tapping your notes. So both plates do help in terms of practice use, so I guess it really depends on what you really need them for. Do you need to retain your combo? So if you need to retain your combo, go for Hayate's episode plate. If you need um, you know, more sensitive attain those perfect and extreme touches, I guess Bokes Valkyrie is the one to go for. Life skill, at the 50 combo mark, for 10 seconds your score is boosted by 20% up. So the life skill wise, Hayate is looking better because Hayate does give a 50% boost. While, you know, Bokes only give you 20%, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> so Hayate wins both episode plate overall and of course taking a look at the 4 divas equipable with Vogue's episode plate um, Sadly to say Vogue fans, your Vogue boy isn't doing so well without his little dragons So this episode plate is definitely an uh, episode plate you do not want to exchange for when it comes to stats um, If you're looking towards uh, attaining Vogue's Valk um, for your you know your team of Valkyrie operation uh, setups I guess that's the plate to go for but in general I think the VF31 J35 anniversary episode plate is the one you will really want to exchange for in terms of usefulness and you know in terms of um, Valkyrie points as well because the plane actually has better stats um, than books as in general so <laughs> i don't know guys um it's a pretty clear decision which episode plate do exchange for this month um if you ask me so yeah anyway guys that's pretty much it regarding the episode plates for this month um we're definitely gonna talk about the upcoming two more episode plates for the red boss events in the future but i guess that's for another time uh, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you found all this information um, useful and maybe give you a, a bit of a clearer decision on which ones to obtain and maybe how hard you want to achieve your, your, your ranking in terms of the Red Boss event that's coming tomorrow you know, to get yourself a copy of both the Macross Frontier and Macross 7 episode plates and yeah, let me know by hitting the like button to this video if you found it useful. If you did not find it useful, you know which button to press. Share the video to all the friends out there who are still having a bit of a dilemma deciding which episode plate to obtain. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet for more Utah Macross information in the future. Join us in Macross Space Sunday Culture because that's where I usually dump all the information that is not made in the, to, into the videos I make. Uh, and of course, yeah, follow me on my uh, YouTube, Facebook page. Uh, links in the description as well. And until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!